What is up everyone? Today is Saturday, September 17th, 2022. Welcome to another video. This is a new release hobby rip of the all new 2021 slash 22 Topps Merlin Chrome UEFA um, or all UEFA competitions basically uh, hobby box. And this came out three days ago on September 14th. I picked it off the one and only Frank J's boxes on Twitter. And uh, it was for $220 shipped, which is not a bad deal. And he shipped it in two days. So big shout out to Frank J's boxes. I got a lot of my boxes from him as of late and uh, really good Twitter drops. This is a all new product. This is a second year product actually, uh, following the format of last year with a new 150 card base set checklist instead of just hundred cards. And um, also there is the conference league, which was not there last year as well. And then um, we also have new parallels, which would be the pink mojo, yellow wave, aqua speckle, orange mojo, and purple waves, um, all with their respective numberings. And also there are new case hits, such as the Renaissance insert, which is one in 12 boxes, 12 box cases. And there's also the match ball autographs as well, which are case hits. And those are not numbered in the base, but they do have super short print parallels from 20 to five, uh, orange out of 25 and less. Um, also other inserts include the Prophecy Fulfilled insert, Ageless Alchemy, and the U23 following last year's, uh, so same kind of release there. There is a 56 card base autograph checklist uh, with parallel starting at speckle out of 150 and then going all the way down basically same as last year as well as a 10 card ageless alchemy autograph checklist prophecy fulfilled five card autograph checklist and 11 card u23 stars autograph checklist so personally for me the big chase of course uh the big autographs rookies and everything but also west ham is in the set west ham is comprised of three base cards and um two autographs a base autograph with Declan rice and a u23 insert autograph with Declan rice and also a u23 base insert with Declan rice so not much there to chase but if we can get something that'd be very very nice so without further ado let's get the box opened uh, i did pick up two last year and uh this is probably the only one i'll pick up this year and if i'm being honest i only picked this up just because of how well i did on stadium club uefa and um yeah so 18 packs in here of four cards each i do like the purple purple packaging so actually i'll just leave that in the back since it's quite nice i'll just angle my camera up a bit you can see my keyboard there but we'll just take from there and then again here is the full box i like that it has all three leagues there and here are the odds of course which uh we might need later and also there is a five card base image variation set checklist so there's that as well all right i think we did start off with a number card there so we have memphis to pie i really like the base design personally for a lot of people they might not like it, but personally, I do like it myself. The uh, text is kind of refreshing, and uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Mathis Tell, which is one of the big rookies, of course. Oh, Felix Nemecha, and I accidentally revealed that there. But we have a blue wave or blue shimmer of Dusan Vlahovic in his Juve kit there. 49 of 75. What a pull to start it off with. That is actually super, super sick. And uh, again, the parallels look so good on this year's design. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below, but I am a huge fan. Blue Shimmer. Very, very nice. It, uh, Blue Shimmer is basically like Panini's first off the line prism color, and uh, Tops did a good job on that. So Merlin Chrome is one of my favorite products, I would say, I guess, um, in terms of just simplicity and everything. Anything Merlin I'm a fan of. Alfonso Davies, Antonio Blanco, Pat Sandaka, and we have Duvon Zapata, refractor there. So I'll make a separate pile for unnumbered parallels and inserts. And I think like just like last year, you're expected to get three numbered cards per box. And then of course you have your guaranteed autograph. Although I heard someone did not get an autograph in their box. Koke, Gravenberch, Kalulu, and a refractor is on Iqbal. Very nice rookie there for Manchester United. And I think the flaps are a bit shorter on this product too, on the packs. So it's ever so slightly harder to open, but nothing, uh, nothing I can't do. And, oh, we have a cracked ice here. Or this is, uh, they call this Atomic, not cracked ice. Panini's cracked ice, this is Atomic. Anthony Alonga, another one of those great rookies from the set. Oliver Skip. Trevor Shalba, three rookies from the Premier League. Will we get a fourth? And it's going to be an Atomic of Nico Gonzalez, rookie for Barcelona. Very, very nice. 196 of 250. So, so far, we're getting off to a fantastic start on our parallels. Um, who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and get more than three parallels in this box. But uh, I'm a huge, huge fan. And again, just like with Stadium Club Chrome, um, all I'm kind of hoping for in terms of the auto, I'm not going to be too picky. Just fingers crossed it's a numbered auto. So even a speckle out of 150 would be nice. But man, a Declan Rice autograph, whew, that, would, that would be insane. Uh, Daniel Malin, Awar, Casina, and a purple wave of Kalidou Koulibaly, numbered 5 of 15, super short print. 
Holy crap, do we have a hotbox here, guys? I have no idea. Purple Wave is one of these new parallels, one of the new parallels that are listed, um, and is actually the shortest printed newer parallel, Purple Wave Refractor. Very, very, very nice. So that's three number cards in like the first, what, five packs there. Um, so there's a chance that we won't be getting any more, uh, unless it's the autograph. Yeah, no block, Harry Kane. Uh, Matsima rookie and Kenneth Taylor. So that's our first base pack. And of course, afterwards, oh my god, this is a thick pack. I think we have a match wall autograph. Should we save it for the end? Okay. Watch until the end, please, guys. Just watch until the end. We'll save that pack for last. Let's, uh, and just to make sure we do that and not open it on accident, I'll put it at the very bottom. Guys, look at how thick that pack is. If we get, we could literally get a one of one match wall autograph. Like, I'm not even kidding. My case hit luck is insane right now. One box of Stadium Club Chrome Hobby, I get a beam team. And now we have something else. Mbappe, Jorginho, Edin Dzeko, and Jules Koundé Refractor. But one thing I'm not sure about is if it takes the place of the regular autograph, because we might even, if we're super lucky, we might even get a regular autograph and then a match ball autograph too. Hannibal, Luka Sucic, rookie. Zani, uh, Zanoli, U23, boom, Declan Rice, look at that. That is the insert I wanted to get. Um, of course, one of the six West Ham cards on the checklist. Gavi, rookie, Soboslai, Harvey Vale, and Pepe, Ageless Alchemy insert. So that's our first one of that. The Ageless Alchemy insert design is absolutely fantastic this year. The autographs, um, the insert autographs are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen any of the uh, U23 autographs yet, but I'm sure those will look pretty good too. Phil Foden, Ivan Romero, and a rookie refractor, Jonathan David. Again, one of the one of the best rookies to get here. This rookie class is pretty loaded, and I think in a couple of years we'll look back at it and realize how great of a product it is. Although it is slightly overpriced in my opinion. Uh, Iqbal, Lahaji, Muller, and base Kamavinga there. Um, the prices haven't really changed much since release day. I got this for 220, and then the prices are kind of just hovering around the low 200s to around 225 or so. Uh, Timo Werner, depending on where you get it, of course. Harvey Elliott, not a rookie for tops. Cameron Carter-Vickers and Christopher Nkunku, refractor there. All right, I think we have five regular packs left, and then we have what is likely our case hit pack. Ansu Fati, Alexander Isak, or Isaac, uh, Gian, rookie. U23, insert of Timothy Weah. Very nice. We're nearing the end. Lionel Messi, Yazua Kimmich. Screen R and a Prophecy Fulfilled of Weston McKenney. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, some people may not like it, but personally, I think it fits the Merlin theme very well. They're going with some nice wizardry, and I also really like the font that they use, although it's uh, slightly controversial. Weston McKenney base, Jack Grealish. Boom, Declan Rice base. That's the one that I wanted to hit. Um, and a Paulo Dybala refractor for Juventus. Three packs left from this 18-pack box. Gerard Pique, rookie of uh, Chauna. Giannis Haji. U23 stars of Malik Tillman for Bayern. So the U23 stars are one in, eight, uh, one in six packs, so you'll get three of those per box. Jusko Gavardiol, Robert Lewandowski, Vinny Jr., and Prophecy Fulfilled of Kylian Mbappe. Gorgeous card. And these are one in nine packs, I believe, so that puts them at two per box, and then the Ageless Alchemy is one per box. All right, guys. Our autograph is going to be a case hit. Match ball autograph. Like, this is a brick of a pack, guys. Man, I gotta savor this moment. Oh my god. Ryan Gravenberch, look at that. And I think that, is that just the entire pack? That is a one card pack, but Wow, look at that. Slight, slight edge damage on the top, which kind of sucks, but again, we got a chunky, colorful piece of match ball there. Like, it is bulging out, as you guys can see. Wow, that's some, that's some real stuff there. And then a nice sticker. This is a, technically, you could say this is an on-sticker autograph with a portion of a second autograph, maybe even. Who knows? Or that's like a accidental streak there. So this is the base one, of course, and they say on Cardboard Connection that they are serial numbered, but they're actually not. But these are, of course, super short prints as case hits, 
And um, this is an absolutely gorgeous card. This is, I think, 180 points. So I do have a mag for this, but of course I have to look for it. So I won't do it on video here. Um, let me just quickly check the checklist on the Matchball autographs. So there's actually a 25 card checklist. And um, of course, with uh, the better names like Lionel Messi, um, like Lewandowski, like who else? Cristiano Ronaldo, all of those are super short printed. So most likely you'll be getting the uh, more mediocre names. And I think Ryan Gravenberch has a lot of stickers for tops. So if you do get a case hit, um, it'll more than likely be one of these guys. But again, I, I can't complain. This is absolutely awesome. A super unique card for sure. And you guys can see that there's a star texture on the match ball. So I will take it. And technically you can say that these are one of one pieces because no other piece will have a relic that looks just like this. So even if this is not serial numbered, you can always identify the card um, by the piece of match ball, which cannot be replicated. So that's a really, really cool feature of that. So that's a, that's definitely a redeeming quality that I think a lot of people might overlook on, despite the fact that these are not numbered. So super, super awesome box. I'll leave that there. Uh, I'll mag it up in a second. Quick little recap on all the non-base, uh, so basically inserts and refractors. We got some nice inserts there. I think it was six inserts from the whole box, which my favorite one is the uh, Declan Rice U23. And then some really nice refractors, a couple of nice rookies there for sure. Uh, Jonathan David looking, looking very, very clean on that refractor. And then we got three numbered cards as expected. You get three numbered cards in basically every Merlin box. Starting from the lowest printed, Kaladu Kulabali Purple Wave for Napoli, numbered 5 of 15. Dusan Vlahovic Blue Shimmer for Juventus, numbered 49 of 75. And then last but not least, Nico Gonzalez Rookie Atomic, which is basically cracked ice, 196 of 250. So super, super clean cards. And of course, I do not even have to explain the match ball autograph. So that is the box right there, guys. For what I paid, I am very, very happy. Um, there are really no words to describe how great my luck has been, especially with the Stadium Club Chrome um, Beam Team case hit, one in 12 boxes, and then another one in 12 box hit. Back-to-back uh, -back UEFA hobby boxes. Again, tops is all the luck. Panini has been um, pretty garbage for me as of in terms of the H2 prison boxes and everything. But if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to... Keep... I can't even speak right now. I'm like... Um, my mouth is dry, and I'm kind of just still in awe about this whole poll, poll stuff. So I'll leave it at that, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video... Like and subscribe, leave a comment. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions or concerns and uh, feel free to check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.